Hey all you Trail and Summit uh, subscribers out there, welcome to the channel and this is uh, the Van Kooks. Um, Kevin, this is Danny and this is our 2007 uh, self-converted Sprinter van. It's a 2400 or 2500. It's two-wheel drive. Everyone thinks it's four-wheel drive and <laughs> right off the bat, I mean we painted all this uh, Raptor liner on the bottom and top. And we actually got our rack built in La Paz, Mexico. It was a killer deal. If you check out the Van Kooks YouTube channel, we have tons of information on how we did all this. So you can check that out. And we also have a more detailed tour on there as well. But kind of just from the outside, we got a nice like flip up table. We added a bunch of storage behind here. Um, the Ottoman also adds storage. It's also, you can move it around. And it's also the step for the bed, which we will show you. So that flips down. We got swivel seat, which is mandatory if you're going to build a van. And then we have all these cabinets we've built out. So we've done this for quite a few years now. So we're getting better and better. But basically all the drawers just pop out. So it's much easier to get in. Before, everything was just shoved in there. And it was very annoying to get anything out of here and the same on the bottom here we added this it's jammed full of stuff right now but little silverware drawer and cook, cooking stuff and the cooktop lives in here so we just had extra storage above the fridge so we turned it into a little area where our cooktop can live and then behind you here we added this nice like we call that the attic and you can see it's stuffed full. Uh, our bed pulls out. It, it's on like a slat, so it just like pulls out and it comes out to about right here. And then there's two mattresses and it just slides on top of each other. So it looks really small now because we wanted way more livable space in here because uh, they're small vans and a lot of people just build their bed and they'll end up coming to here and then this is all the space you have but we wanted like a kitchen aisle or something so we have that we have a nice like spice drawer um, drawers in here and then we did our water kind of really basic and easy we just have these four water tanks and we can fill those up at any grocery store and as you can see you'll grow the size of your fish bowl so everything's just kind of jam-packed in here uh, spice rack again we cook a lot we cook everything ourselves we never go out to eat so save some money there this is nice a little additional water and then we have our Van Kooks library and other supplements but also we have bikes in here and we can go around the back and show you the bikes but as while we're in here i guess i'll mention the whole van is powered by 300 amp hours of agm batteries and we have a 300 uh, watt solar panel on the roof but yeah nothing too crazy on these upper cabinets we just put them on these struts you're gonna have to do this if you build a van otherwise they're just gonna flop down it's cool because it keeps them shut so that's a good thing to have and we got a bunch of storage in our couch too so the couch actually flips open here and then the electrical stuff's in there and then the whole bottom of the couch can actually come up and we have lots of more things that we've grown to the size of our fishbowl like I said but and uh, toilet we have a C or a nature's head composting toilet that just pulls out there so in case you need to use the restroom when you're here at this in the city you know you got you got to do what you got to do but yeah that's the inside uh i can show you real quick just what we got going on in the back and then the back even more jam-packed i think the van is like a hundred pounds under the weight so we barely made it but yeah this is like our garage i guess you can call it so we got two mountain bikes 
uh, nothing too special on the mountain bikes, but then you can see it's just uh, slammed full of fun stuff. Yeah, I can't, don't want to go through every item it would take all day, but yeah, this is our home. We've been doing it for five years and we've been trying to help people get on the road. That's what we do on the uh, Van Kooks YouTube channel. So check us out if you have any aspirations to be a dirt bag like us. <laughs> all right, so we wanted to build a van for all four seasons. So we do have a snugger heater. It's like an off brand of a Wabasto. And um, so it's way cheaper. They make them way cheaper now, about $100. And a lot of people will just connect it to a separate gas tank um, if you don't have a diesel or it's an older model and you have to do a lot more things for it. And then air conditioning, we don't really have that. We just kind of um, migrate where the weather is nice. That's why we're up in Washington in the summer right now. Um, so all we have is the Dometic Fantastic Fan and it's not very fantastic. <laughs> um, we need a new one, but the rack is kind of small, so it's like real tight around it. So. We're gonna try and get a new one soon. So for showers too, that's another thing that van lifers have trouble with is showers. Um, they don't know how they'll do them, but we just turn this around and you can pull this out and take a shower. Or we have a uh, Costco water port on top um, and it heats up all day during the day and you just use a bike pump and spray yourself down. Okay, and then like I've been telling you, you're gonna grow to the size of your van and you're gonna need more room so there's only one place to go when that happens and that's upstairs so we got this rack um, pretty much custom built in La Paz Mexico uh, it was just this random muffler shop we went, up, went over there and had a translation battle for three days but eventually we got it done and it was incredibly cheap and it's just been super nice for us because we actually have the solar panel raised up. So then we have the full length of the van to stuff stuff under the solar panel. I know a lot of people lose room on their roofs because they put that solar panel flat to the uh, rails. But we raised it up and we shoved the surfboards, climbing mats, area rugs, stand-up paddleboard, two-person kayak, traction mats and just a lot of stuff up there yeah it's been really awesome to have that thing and if you're looking for a rack you can uh, head down to mexico you can always contact us and we'll put you in touch with who built it for us because they actually did a really good job it's not aluminum but it's it works we've been living in this van for about three years now we've started five years ago so one thing with that is we did originally start in like a $500 van. So mm -hmm. if you're trying to get into van life, like don't go big and get some huge debt acquired with these vans. Like it took us a while to work up to this. So you'll get there. <laughs> Just start in anything. If you see the van, you'll notice it's got all this black paint. It's actually Raptor liner. It's like a knockoff of a uh, Rhino liner. It's pretty cheap. We did it on Amazon and we did it all ourselves. We've never painted a vehicle before in our life, but it was actually pretty easy. The most of the work is in the beginning and we painted the van because it was very rusted. It had lots of rust on the hood and on the roof up here, as well as down here on the sides. So we just got metal grinders and uh, worked all that rust off and then painted a clear coat over it. And then we painted this. We added the light bars, which are kind of fun. We actually got to do like a our own little night safari in Yellowstone this summer. It was pretty cool. We saw so many animals. We have them in the front and on the side. So if it's really dark, you can literally just illuminate like the whole area you're driving. It's probably overkill, but it was so cheap and we did it ourselves. It was worth it. So all in all, this van probably ran around, I think we bought it for 11,000 and it had 180,000 miles on it. And we built all the work and done everything for about 12 or 13. Yeah. We did just recently add in a sound system. So I think we're at about 13, but we've done some other van, a Sprinter last year and I think it cost us about 12 so I think you can expect to spend between 10 to 15 and oh, obviously no. it can go 
increasingly up from there depending on what you want to do with it but yeah it's it's if you do it yourself it's going to be much cheaper i know these companies out there are charging an arm and a leg to get you in the van life but if you just watch some youtube videos and brave up and get your tools out you got this so thanks for watching guys uh hope you enjoyed the tour you can find uh me and danny on youtube it's uh van kooks like kooky people i don't know if you can see my shirt here but yeah we hope it was helpful and we hope we will run into all you crazy kooky van lifers out there on the road so thanks for watching guys yeah thanks